Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, coming off an open week, back in action uh, Thursday against Temple. Can you just give us your thoughts on how you uh, how your open week uh, went as you get as you get ready to face the Owls on uh, Thursday night, Cleveland prime time. Good, a little bit different because it's not a you know an extended bye week with the uh, the midweek game here uh, on the back end. Um, Give the kids uh, a couple days off uh, after Saturday's uh, victory last week, and and uh, then got back to work. Uh, kids are excited, ready to play. Obviously, it's a big one. Temple's playing extremely well, won five out of six. Playing well in all three phases, um, playing great defense, making you earn everything offensively. Um, they found a way to, to score a bunch of points here lately, and, and they're you know, really good uh, on special teams. So it's, uh, it's a huge test. Uh, I think everyone here in the program is excited about uh, being on national television and, and uh, getting an opportunity to, to try to go 1-0. Big questions for Coach Josh Heupel. Please star one on your telephone <clears throat> keypad. We'll put you in the queue. The operator will introduce you. We'll now take our next question from Chris Vanini from The Athletic. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Hi, Josh. How's it going? Good. Good. Um, what do you make of uh, the Temple defense right now? The, the last five games, they've really done a good job of preventing uh, explosive plays, and how do you kind of see that matchup? Yeah, I mean, they haven't given up pass play over 15 yards, I think, in the last four or five weeks. Uh, they contest everything on the outside. Um, you know, they obviously feel really strong about their corners, and, and for good reason. They do a great job in pass, uh, uh, press coverage, uh, do a great job of contesting balls down the, the, the football field, uh, really calm and patient when they're in those, those man coverages. Um, up front, they're physical, they're big. Uh, two backers in the middle of the football field are, are athletic, run sideline to sideline, make a bunch of plays. They make you absolutely go earn everything, and uh, you certainly don't want to be in a bunch of third and longs against them. Uh, they have the ability to get after the quarterback. So uh, we got to have balance in, in everything we're doing. we gotta, we got to win some one-on-ones on the outside, and uh, we got to be able to run the football as well. And uh, what's kind of the latest with your quarterback situation, and, and would you feel comfortable with – if uh, you have to go with uh, Mac again, yeah, uh, uh, D Mac's been uh, uh, practicing well. Uh, obviously, feel like he'll grow from you know his first start to uh, potentially if he had to uh, play this one uh, to playing at a really high level as well. Like the way he played in, uh, against East Carolina, also I thought he did a great job managing the game. Was uh, accurate with his deep balls down the football field and, and uh, was pleased with the way he took care of the football as well. Um, uh, KZ is just uh, day-to-day at this point, so uh, he'll be a, a game-time decision. Thank you. Take the next question, please. We will now take our next question from Dan Tatora from wakeupcalldt.com. Your line is open. Please go ahead. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, for Mac and Milton, just to go a little bit deeper into it, just what you can say about how they uh, how they push each other, how they made each other better, and how uh, both of them are, are capable of leading this offense. Just what you've taken away from them and their relationship with one another. Uh, they are uh, both capable. Uh, obviously, uh, you know there's some things in, in week one that uh, D uh, would want to do a little bit differently, but uh, you saw him play with a, a ton of confidence and poise. <clears throat> a lot of that comes from the work that both of those guys have put in during the off season, uh, game week preparation. <clears throat> KZ did a great job of, of just helping them and being a voice on the sidelines as well. Um, you know that's a group that, that's really tight. They pull for one another. Uh, they can p- compete, you know, on the practice field with each other in a really positive way as well. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, whoever's taking snaps, they believe and we believe will uh, will give us a chance to go win a football game. You can only control what you can control, but to see what this team has been able to do at, at UCF in your first season and, and, and overall going back from last season to this season. Do you feel that there should be more of a national exposure, more of a national spotlight, more of respect for the conference and and the team itself, just kind of what you see from the inside looking out? Absolutely. Uh, This conference deserves a a ton of respect for the way it plays uh, during during the course of the season, during conference play. But you look at what they've been able to do, you know, this year, but also in years past just in in non-conference play. you know, half the teams in this league were, were in Power Five conferences, um, or t- conferences that uh, got automatic uh, bids to, to you know BCS games in the in the old system. Um, this league, 
I mean, you have to come ready to play every single week. There's great players. There's great coaching in this league. And, uh, um, you know, I think at the end of the year, when all the dust really does settle, I, 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 you know, I, I hope, I believe that uh, this conference is going to get the recognition that it deserves. Thank you, Coach, and good luck this week. Thank you. We will now take our next question from Donald Hunt, Philadelphia <coughs> Tribune. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Yes, Coach, how you doing? Good. Thank you. That's good. I'd like to get your thoughts on the uh, passing game and the receiving uh, attack that Temple has. Yeah, they've, uh, they've uh, you know, come on here and, and you know, during the course of, um, you know, their win streak here, they – they are making explosive plays. The quarterback's been really good taking care of the football, but really good in his decision making. They're doing a good job of protecting the passer as well up front, and their skill players have uh, have come on and made a bunch of plays, and and a lot of that's in, in one-on-one situations. Um, I think they do a good job of finding um, mismatches uh, against the defenses they're they're playing, and, and try to put their personnel in in, uh, in positive, good situations. And uh, you know, for us defensively. <clears throat> You know, you're talking about the passing game. We got to stop the run game uh, first and foremost. So uh, we're putting them in, in predictable situations, but uh, we have to, uh, you know, play tight coverage and, and make them be perfect and go earn things as well. Okay, thanks a lot. If you have any final questions for Coach Josh Heupel, please start one on your telephone keypad. If so, there appears to be no questions at this time. Coach, thanks as always for joining us. This week. Thank you, guys. Once again, next Monday. Appreciate it.